left. <laughs> Wait, I was wrong. Twenty. <laughs>
because you're not supposed to pet them. <laughs> Tell me about the butterflies, George. <laughs> I think we have a reader, but some of you are visual. Tell them about the butterflies, George. Now we get it? Do we get it now? Guys, I'm like Lenny. I love a little too tightly. <laughs> and I'm no longer allowed in pet supermarkets. So! <laughs> Ooh. It doesn't get any better, guys. Now the types of butterflies you can expect during the show are one of two. You can get the kind like when you're riding the crow's nest. Woo! Me! Yay! It tickles! Ha ha! Fun! Or you can get the kind like when you see something that resembles a compound fracture. Compound fracture is know that we yay tickles isn't what you'd say. That's because those are the butterflies who are uncomfortable. They're the ones that go, oh no, if your body shouldn't do that. If I leave now, will she notice? Yes. <laughs> but I've made a way to make being uncomfortable fun. Do you guys want to know what it is? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, because it's with high kick. It's not alcohol exclusive. Kids, feel free to join with your juicy juice, your water, your jolt, volt, and surge. Adults. Some of you know what it is. Dan jokes. That's all this is. Now, um, adults, you can join in too. We have beer, mead, wine, cider, that water bottle you brought in. <laughs> this is how the game works. At any point in time, somebody winces! That means that your face physically contorts. If you close your eyes, ah, or if you audibly say, ew, no, gross, ow, why? I'll point you out. And we will... Rain. Yes, but this time, like an audience. <laughs> and we will... Rain. Number two, if anybody pukes, trash cans are located on either side, please share. <laughs> And we will drink. Number three, if anybody faints, we'll point them out. And we will call first aid. <laughs> and then we'll drink. Usually once the golf cart's far enough. <laughs> From experience. <laughs> I know my tone sounds like I'm kidding, but I should really have tally marks up there. <laughs> and number four. If anybody leaves in disgust, here is why this is important. Lords, ladies, and ethereal people of the realm, I am deceptively adorable. <laughs> and this might not be the show you think it is. If at any point in time you decide your stomach can't take what you are witnessing and you have to leave, no hard feelings. We're just going to point you out. And we will drink. Awesome, guys. That's a drinking game. That's a disclaimer. This is not a rule level. We're ready. Yeah. And to start the show, I will be removing an article of clothing. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Stay in your seat, sir. Put that hundred away. Always, always someone believes me. <laughs> when I turn around. Oh. Ah, got you. It's all right. <laughs> it's only my glove, guys. The reason for this is what I'm about to do, I want you to know that I am doing with a real human arm attached to me, a real human, and not five raccoons in a human skin suit. <laughs> <laughs> but taking your glove off to silence is boring! So you guys are going to be my musical accompaniment? The beat goes like this. Ba -da 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 -da. Perfect! With that level of enthusiasm! More into it, you get more into it, I get Don't stop till the gloves all the way up. Hit it! <laughs> Tequila! <laughs> Alright, here we go guys. We start the show here with something I like to call hand torsion. It's like contortion. But with my hand. Oh. That is as far as it goes. <laughs> Hello. Alright, fine. Fine. I get it. You're like, 
you said this was going to be gross. Well, guess what? That is by far the least disturbing thing I do in this show. If anything, it's my way of weeding out the weak and seeing how hardcore my audience is. And you're all still here. So I think you're ready for a winner! Are you guys ready for grosser? I think you all really just want to know what's in the box. Yes! It's not for the Paltrow. Jokes. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Inside Pipsy's trinket box of terror, I have for you an option. You get to choose between my hilarious, amazing, dirty, <laughs> burn impressions, or fourth grade normal loss. Fourth grade. Boy, it's so close. We'll have to do it by a round of applause for... Fourth grade. Fine. But I want you all to know that you are missing out on comedy bronze. Lords, ladies, and ethereal people of the realm, I am what you call in the sideshow industry. Mentally unstable! <laughs> also, a human blockhead. What that means is I can take this nail and drive it. Take that, Tesla. <laughs> Into the center of my skull. And it's about right here that I start to feel the hamster back up in fear. So my question is, you all want to see any animals? <laughs> all right, after I eat a bug. <laughs> I don't think I won't. Here it goes! A nail! In my nose! Bird impression. This is. 
Quit destroying my wetlands. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I think it's cute sometimes, and then I catch something. All right! Oh, you guys have been through some pretty gross stuff. So I think you're ready for something cute! Doesn't sound like you trust me. Come on, guys! Who here likes balloon animals? Do you love balloon animals? Uh, what is ladies in the theater people of the realm? Uh, I like making balloon animals. But I don't like just really nilly making them. I like feeling as if I brought them into this world. And you're gonna help me. All you gotta do is let me know when you see the end of this balloon. You can go, there it is, or, hmm? I know both. Ready? Yes. Two people, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we call mental floss. <laughs> Clearly something I should do more. <laughs> now, um, it's at this point that I would like to tell you, I used to be able to pull up a member from the audience and we would reenact the lady and the tramp. <laughs> Clearly I can't do that anymore because of the restraining order. Now! <laughs> Can someone say one more bird impression? <laughs> one more impression, please! All right! We can 
rather do whatever this is for? Or whatever this is for? Oh boy, it's so close. We'll have to do it by a round of applause. A device used to crush the hopes, dreams, and bones of a small, helpless animal. But I'm not harming any animals on the stage. Instead, I am placing it on a very sensitive part of my face, my tongue. That is, if you guys really want to see it. Yeah! yeah. All right, then, give me a countdown. Two hundred. <laughs> five. Five. Four. Three, two, two one. one. Oh. Ah. Thank you. And while I have you all here, I would like to take the time to talk about true love. <laughs> now, when and what we live together. <laughs> Tetanus. <laughs> All right, guys. The final thing before I swallow a sword is an amazing display of my acting abilities. And no, it's not drinking my feelings. <laughs> oh, yes, actors. <laughs> it's the amazing skill of crying on cue. Yay! Yay! My cue for quality. <laughs> Some people think it's a social cue, but really it's an introvert. All right. <laughs> That's my cue. And you guys are actually going to help me out with this. You're going to be my directors. When I look up, you're going to say action that will cue me to start crying for practice. Action. Perfect. Now, to put myself in a scene where I would be crying. Ha ha, that scene is a never ending story. Here we go. Action! Action! Right. Artex! <laughs> Artex, you're thinking! Artex, you have to try! <laughs> Stupid horse! <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs> Those of you who missed it, and those of you who wish you missed it, I am working on Splash, though. Don't move. There we go. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah! <laughs> Wait till next year when we move the benches closer! Woo! Crying on cue. Alright, guys, we have come to the end of my show. It's the part you all been waiting for, where I, Pipsy, finally get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, before I swallow this sword, I want to take the time to say thank you all so much for coming out to the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair. I hope you've had a great day so far. <laughs> and on that, thank you for sitting here and watching my show. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. This is my first time working at this festival, performing for y'all. If you want to see me back, feel free to go onto their social media and leave a nice comment like, oh my gosh, bring it back! She totally survived swallowing the sword! <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, if you didn't like my show, fear not, guys. Pubs are open, drink till you forget. <laughs> now, uh, for those of you who are skeptic out there and think that this holds into the handle, well, I have news for you. Today's your lucky day. If you are still skeptical by the end of this show, I invite you to come up and smell the sword. Bonkers <laughs> <laughs> there. Mmm, I can taste the irony already. It's a real sort of subject for some people. 
is the most metal thing I do. <laughs> no, I don't have an OnlyFans. All right. <laughs> It's gonna go down behind my heart, between my lungs, and into my tum tum. At which point I will fold myself in half, we make awkward eye contact with all of you, and pull the sword out to triumph and applause! Woo! Perfect. Now, for those of you who are actually worried about my safety, thinking, oh my gosh, Pipsy, please be careful, don't hit your heart, that is a very real possibility. But fear not. According to my exes, I have no heart. under Guess What in Well Side Show. Um, if you guys had any questions after the show, which is now, uh, feel free to come on up. I'll be standing up here available for high fives, selfies, and questions about my life choices. Till then, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. If you wanted to see it all over again, there's one more show.